Seen a local man who survived World War II battle in Iwo Jima is now working to raise money to honor his fellow Marine. Our 5 News morning reporter and photojournalist Brandon Hartung has more on the story. He was the name Iwo Jima didn't even ring a bell. You know, we didn't even know where Iwo Jima was in relationship to where, where else in the Pacific. Bert Clayton was in high school when Pearl Harbor came under attack. He says once that happened, guys couldn't wait to finish school, enlist in the military, and take the fight back across the ocean to Iwo Jima. We were there for 36 days, and I remember every one of them, because there were so many killed within that 36 day period. In just over a month, 72,000 Marines landed on Iwo Jima, with 8,621 killed and over 17,000 wounded. Clayton said it was all like a movie at first, but that quickly changed as he rushed from the boat up to the shore and took cover next to a fallen Marine. I realized that this was the first dead man that I'd ever seen, but then this became very real to me. It could have been me. Next time it might be me. Clayton was a field radio operator and was hard at work when his commanding officer noticed what would become an iconic image for all of World War II. We were busy. And he said, oh my God, look at that. And we looked up to see what he was pointing at. And he was pointing at that flag, that first flag that had been raised that was waving in the breeze, breeze. And I still get just shivers thinking about it. And that was what, 65 years or so ago. The feeling that we had that it's over, you know, we're gonna go home. Even with that victory, it took many more days to clear the whole island and many more Marines were lost in battle. So when Clayton heard there was going to be a monument made to honor his fellow Marines from that battle, he knew he had to help raise the money to make sure it got made. It's thrilling to anticipate the possibility of seeing for those of us that uh, were there. Boy, that one will give you some chills. Fantastic story there from Brandon. The monument that he referred to is called Bar on the Beach, B-A-R, standing for Browning Automatic Rifle, one of the most common rifles used in that battle. The monument cost around $144,000. And for more on when this monument will be unveiled and to see the complete interview with Burt Clayton, just head on over to our website at 5newsonline.com. Powerful story, powerful man. Well, you got that right. And there's not many of those guys left anymore that were involved in that battle so whenever you find one it's a good idea just to sit back and listen we're talking about some big time american history and we should listen to every word i hear the interview's great so log on to our website